Hey to everybody who has been patiently waiting for the four o'clock, four o'clock central. For hey, it looks like I am finally live. Hi to anybody who's been patiently waiting for the four o'clock Gamel Facebook Live. I've been <laughs> I've been taking a minute or two to get online. This is Karen Farnsworth. I am one of the Gamel instructors, and it is my turn to present one of these Facebook Lives for Gamel on behalf of Gamel today. Um, and I am doing a screen share today, so you guys don't get to see my face. You've probably seen plenty of me <laughs> in previous Facebook Lives or classes. So we're just going to give people a couple of minutes to find that we're online and live now. And then I want to show just a, a fun little thing that I like to do in Creative Studio 7. So I know it won't apply to every quilter out there and every gamble owner out there. Um, but for those of you that do a little bit of playing around in Creative Studio, maybe this little tip, this little, um, this little thing that I want to show you will be, be useful to you. Um, so I... Um, I'm looking at my screen, my Gamble Creative, uh, sorry, my Creative Studio 7 screen. Hopefully that screen sharing is working. And um, as a bonus to the screen share, I can actually see some of the comments that are that are being posted up. So I see that some of you guys are are joining me. I see Linda's there and Sue, uh, Shelley. Hi everybody. I won't be able to say everybody's names, but hi. I'm glad that you've joined us. Welcome to this. Gamble Facebook Live, and I am a couple of minutes late, sorry about that, but I'm glad you found me. So now um, I will show you this little tip here. In Creative Studio 7, which of course I believe is a fantastic software, I just absolutely love Creative Studio 7, but this tip actually, it, uh, it applies to previous versions of Creative Studio as well. It's not just for Creative Studio 7, but of course I am demonstrating in 7. Let me go to a quilt group here that has an edge-to-edge -edge setup in it. So I have some repeats, some patterns on the screen in Creative Studio. And I really like to use Zoom. The Zoom feature is one that I use all the time. And there are many ways that we can use Zoom throughout Creative Studio. I'm not going to show you all of the ways that we could use Zoom. But I do want to show you just one, one way that I use it almost every day. For my customer quilts, I'm almost always doing edge to edge quilting. That's what most of my customers want. It's within their budget. It's fast and easy. Um, it's a good money maker for me. Uh, it's, it's it makes us both happy, the customers and me. So even with creative, even even with um, with that edge to edge quilting as my my bread and butter as my main quilting style, I still use the zoom feature. When I set up an edge to edge, and this is just a small example, of course, I can check the density of my patterns using 100% zoom on my Creative Studio screen. So even here in in my standalone mode, which is what I am screencasting to you guys today. If you select a pattern, any pattern on the screen, it's okay. It just it gives the zoom a, a place to focus. So if you select one of those patterns and then click on the word zoom down here on the bottom taskbar, clicking on that word zoom is going to take you automatically to a 100% zoom. So when I click on that word zoom, it goes to 100%. You see this change to 100% zoom. And if my zoom is set accurately, if my screen is set accurately for an accurate 100% zoom, that means that those patterns all of a sudden are exactly the size they would be stitched. So in the little section here, in this little CAD screen window, that little piece of my screen, those patterns, whatever shows, would be at an exact stitching size. And that can be really useful because you can visually see how far apart the stitching lines are. And I am definitely a visual person, so I like to see exactly what I'm going to be getting on my quilt. Now you might think that this pattern is really quite dense still, and I absolutely would agree with that. This pattern looks really dense, and that's probably because I have not set an accurate 100% zoom for my screen. 
every computer that you have Creative Studio on needs to have the Zoom set just one time for each version of the software. If you update Creative Studio, you need to reset that Zoom. But once you've done it once, you're good until you update the software. And so let's go and see if I have an accurate 100% Zoom. The way we check that is by making sure that we have a one inch grid. And then of course I need to turn that grid on so I can see those grid squares. And I can see right away that my grid squares are not an accurate one inch. If I measured those grid squares on the screen, they're not really an inch. So what I need to do is I need to scroll in until I can measure one of these grid squares that's set for an inch. I want to measure it at an inch. And I know you can't see me doing that, but I am using a ruler up against my screen to make sure that that grid square is one inch and you can scroll in and out until you have that one inch grid square. And on my little Sam laptop, you can see that um, Creative Studio thinks that I'm actually zoomed in to 576%. That's because I haven't set my accurate zoom before. Now, once I have this one inch grid square here, I don't wanna change that zoom anymore, so don't scroll in and out or any don't scroll in and out anymore. I want to set this to be my accurate 100% zoom. And the way I do that is to get the caret key that's next to the zoom settings. And I can't see it on my little laptop until I use the little arrow to shift things over. And then I can see my caret here. And when I click on that, I have options. And one of those options is to set my current zoom to 100%. I click on that and that changed from 576 or whatever that percentage was to 100%. So now when I choose a pattern, and that was me, hello. <laughs> if I select a design and then click on zoom, it is going to give me, it's going to jump me to that true one inch grid, whether my grid is on or not. So I can even turn that grid off And I still know that this is truly the size that this pattern would stitch at. So that is zoom to 100%. And that's how you set your zoom just one time in Creative Studio. Like I mentioned, I use this all the time when setting up edge to edge patterns and in other, other times that I use Creative Studio as well. I hope this little tip helps and I will be going back out of the screen share and I'll, I'll look and see if there are any comments. Um, but I appreciate you guys joining me. And um, on behalf of GAML, we all appreciate um, the support that the GAML family and the GAML community has, has given our company and, and you know many other companies during this very interesting time <laughs> in the history of our, of our world. And we hope, we truly hope that you all are enjoying your quilting, that your businesses are doing well and that um, you're surviving um, this interesting time, this pandemic. Well, um, all our blessings to you. Thanks for watching and I will see you online. I'll see you on Facebook and, and, um, uh, hopefully soon at some live events as well. Thanks.